What's up guys, Cody Dean here. In this video, we're going to be going over what the difference is between a funnel as well as a website. And do, which one do you need? So let's go into it. So a funnel is called a funnel because of how it interacts with your customer. So a funnel is going to look just like this. So a funnel is a series of pages like that. And the customer is only able to go through each page in a specific way. They're able to go to one, then they're able to go to two, and then they're able to go to three. So this makes it very predictable for you. So you can measure, hey, 100 people came to this website, only 20 of them went here, and only one of them made it here. So you can make changes with each page. And so you can optimize things. So a funnel is a direct, it directs your customer in a specific way that you've decided. A website is kind of like a brochure, so to speak. It allows you to put all of your products. It has usually has like a menu bar up at the top and then they can go and search for things. Something like that. Now the problem with a website, if you're trying to sell, is someone can come to this website and they could go here, they could go here, they could go here, here. They could go to a lot of different places and you're not able to measure what caused them to go to each place in the menu. Or if they come here and then they leave, within 10 seconds, you're not sure why did they leave. No. When it comes to actually using these, which one do you need? The answer is both. You actually need both of them. So on the front end, you use a funnel. And this will help you attract customers. It directs them. It helps them buy. And then on the back end, that is actually where you'd send people to your website. If people are trying to search for you, if people are trying to find information, um, you can usually connect your blog to your website. So to quick answer is yes, you need both of them. Start with the funnel and then build a website second. Hopefully that helps you out.